Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to be doing this video because it may come as a surprise for some of you. I have left my nine to five and I will be answering all of the questions about it and giving a little life update. And I hate a long intro, so I'm just gonna get literally straight into it. So I posted my announcement on my TikTok last Friday, which was my last day at my nine to five. I was working in human resources for almost five years at a company that I love and I'm so grateful for my time there, but it was time for me to go. And it's also really funny because I have a video on this channel that's literally from I think last month and someone was asking me would you ever leave your nine to five to do content full time and I think I said basically no because I was going to miss the structure and just like not having well a consistent paycheck also but I basically said no and I'm going to talk a little bit about that and like how I got to this point but if I rewind I moved to New York City in March of this year and that was a huge leap for me and it was a huge life pivotal moment where I was like I can do anything that I set my mind to and I know that sounds so cheesy but it's so true that was a, such a huge catalyst for me and opening doors that I just never thought were even possible and as I was working this job I loved the team that I was on I am eternally grateful for the company that I was at given me so much and just like jump-started my career and everything else but I realized that the day-to-day -day work that I was in was not making me happy and I would wake up every day and I would just be like I really don't want to do this. And I know that that is just work. I know that most people wake up in their nine to five and they're not super thrilled, which is a whole other conversation in itself. And it's sad, but it was to the point where I was like really miserable in this work. I had been moved to a new role that I did not love. I was no longer passionate about, and it was no longer serving me in that way. And I felt really stuck. I was like, how can I, how can I get out of this? And Basically, there was one day a couple weeks ago in New York City that changed it, changed my mindset about this for me. I'm involved in a running club and community here in New York called Endorphins, and I've been helping with their social media and just like building the community for a few months now on the side. And it is something that I absolutely love and I'm so passionate about and essentially we did this big video shoot day and it was on a Sunday so it was not a work day and it was from like 7 a.m. until midnight we were in Times Square and that was quote unquote work and that entire day I was so happy and I did not feel like I was working and I was like came home at the end of that day and I was like what am I doing? Why am I wasting my time, my mental health, my like everything else and putting so much into this job that I hate? And I was like, what am I going to do here? That Monday, I literally woke up and I called my parents and I was like, I, I can't do this job anymore. I have to leave. And they were so supportive and they were like, this is like a follow your dreams moment. And you are so happy creating content and doing running community endorphins whatever it may be you're so happy doing those things take the risk try it and if you have to go and find another job later down the line that's okay i think this was less about leaving the corporate world for me than it was about leaving the specific role and company that i was at because it was making me so unhappy there were also like other variables at play whether i could still live in new york and work for this company like there was a lot of other things behind the scenes that like kind of led me to this point it all happened really fast but it was like that revelation of like recognizing how unhappy you are and then doing something about it and i think that's the difference is a lot of people can get really stuck in being unhappy and not take that next step and i think i've learned that a lot over the past few years of like I was unhappy in Portland, so I moved. I was unhappy in XYZ situation, so I left. Like, it's about taking yourself out of that feeling stuck and like taking that next step. I think the part of believing in yourself too is really important because logistically, I work with incredible brands that I love and now I have so much more freedom 
in the sense of brands that I can work with because of the company that I was at. But I also just have so much more freedom and free time to be able to actually fully invest into that. So it's a little bit of believing in myself, like, can I do content and community and running full time? I had this doubt and that was seated in my brain, but I was like, yes, I can. I was just like, there were other things holding me back. In terms of actually leaving the job, I had a really difficult time saying bye to my team. I was so sad. Like I genuinely loved the team that I was on so much. And like there were tears, it was like a whole thing, but also it felt so right. It felt like this is the right decision for me in this moment. And I feel so free now to just dive into all the other things that I love. And it felt so right, as scary as it is to leave a consistent paycheck or health insurance, which I need to figure out. It's scary, but when you know that it's right for you, it made it a lot easier. And I have such a supportive team that like my last week was so fun because everyone was just showing so much love and support. I just like cannot express my gratitude for that team and company and everything that I learned through those experiences. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be back. You never say never. I can't predict anything because at this point, a year ago, I was living in my parents' basement and I had no idea how I was gonna get to New York. I knew I was gonna do it, but I didn't know how. And like in five months, I don't know what's gonna happen. I didn't know where I was gonna be a year ago. So to in five months, if I need to get a part-time job or get another job in corporate, I will do that, but I also will be picky and I will find something that I'm really, really passionate about and that I love and that like brings me joy because right now that's my most important thing. Like I don't want to be doing anything that doesn't bring me joy. And I know that quitting a nine to five is not a feasible option for the majority of the world. And I feel so eternally grateful to be able to take this risk. And I'm just so mind blown and it's it does not make sense in my head but i do have the ability to support myself for the foreseeable future with my own content and i have so many ideas that i want to bring out that i'm so excited about i think step one is to get back into running obviously that's a huge part of my life and the stress fracture is going to heal very very soon so that's like step one i'm obviously like diving full on into endorphins and doing all of their social and strategy which is so fun and i look back and I cannot believe when I showed up to that run club in March of this year, having no idea what it was gonna turn into. And now we have a global community and it's absolutely bonkers to me. And I'm so eternally grateful for that community and the running community in New York because it has truly changed my life. And I would not be here or making this decision if it weren't for that. And I think it's a little bit of like delusion. It's a little bit of believing in yourself and following things that you're passionate about. And I just hope that this can inspire somebody in some way to do the same because I just think it's really important. And if you're unhappy in something, take one singular step to find your way out of it and the balls will keep moving. And you guys are gonna see all the behind the scenes of if this is working and if it's not, I'm gonna be real honest and give you all the info and all the tea that I can. And I'm just like really excited for the journey of being able to share and be real on here, which I always have been and will always try to be. And I cannot thank you all enough for the support on here and just like everything that these platforms have given me is absolutely nuts. And I will never, ever, ever take it for granted. And I also don't wanna to lose touch with like being an influencer that left their nine to five because realistically, I'm doing more work for my own content and for endorphins than I could ever imagine. Like it's very much always on, always doing something. So I am making the promise to you all to not lose the relatability. I may not have a nine to five, but I'm still working my ass off and I always will. I have so many ideas and so many things that I wanna do. And now that I actually have the time, I feel like I'm gonna be able to pursue all of the dreams and ideas that I have and I'm so freaking excited about it. A lot of people are asking me like, how are you feeling? And I'm feeling so energized, so excited. I wake up every single day now, excited for the day and excited for the work that I'm doing. And I think it's showing how happy I am and that's really all I care about. And I have incredible community friends and family that are all supporting me. So if you wanna follow along for everything I'm doing next, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Let me know any type of content you would wanna see from me. I'm way more active on Instagram and TikTok, so you can definitely follow me there, but also I'll be on here a lot more than I have the time and I'm really excited and I will see you very soon.